What is up everyone? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel. So today I want to show you how to, on the Steam Deck, transfer information from one micro SD card to the other micro SD card. It seems like an easy enough process, but I had trouble myself trying to do it. There's not a lot of videos, there's a few out there, but they kind of are missing a couple things in my opinion. So I just wanted to come and make easy this as, as possible and also try to go step by step so we can get through it together. So. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. If you've never tuned into my channel before, just know I like to do tutorials. I like to do reviews on all kinds of valued items. I like to make it as easy as possible. Do all the research for you so you don't have to, and then also leave some links in case you're interested in some of the products that I review. Just know that I'm always just trying to help, trying to be positive, <laughs> do the best I can in these videos. So thank you so much for all my subscribers who are really kind, you know, giving thumbs up and stuff. And if this is helpful at all, please give me a like and subscribe. Right, so let's get into the video. Like I said, so say you have your Steam Deck and the first micro SD card you bought was a like 256 gig. So now you've bought a 512 or a one terabyte and you wanna transfer that 256 to the one terabyte. I am definitely in that boat because I just bought a one terabyte silicon power card for 90 bucks, which is an extremely good deal. So I'll leave links for that as well in this video in case you're wanting to upgrade to a one terabyte it's an a2 card it's really good for the app performance they also have an a1 card from silicon power that is still works in there i have a 3d nano 512 that i bought for 30 bucks so they have some extremely good prices so just to let you know about that i upgraded my card so now i want to transfer that information and i know at some point everybody's going to have to do this so i want to take you step by step through this process. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to have a few extra items that you're gonna to need to get this done. Of course, you're gonna need your Steam Deck, it's right here. You're gonna need some kind of little hub. This one is a ESWO, I will leave a link. I think there's actually another letter that rubbed off on there too, but this is a good little hub. I've had pretty good luck with it. It doesn't have a lot of stuff, but it's really All you need. It has a USB type C and this does support power. It has a 3.0 slot right here and three 2.0s. And then it has the HDMI port so you can hook up an extra monitor or things like that. So it has about everything you need. Except for you'll need a uh, SD card reader. Now, they do make hubs with SD card readers as well with them. This is also another hub that has a little bit extra. This is actually my hub that I use with the Steam Deck that I can actually have a hard drive on here um, and dual boot. I can do a Microsoft Windows with it too. It does have the micro card reader. On what I use is I really like this SmartQ adapter that has a reader in it. It actually improves your speeds and it's a 3.0. So I hook it into that 3.0 slot. And the only problem with that is that now I can't hook up my USB Type-C if I want to charge. But, you know, just for downloading and write speeds and things like that, this does improve with the 3.0. You can put it in other, you can put it in a 2.0 slot and it would still work. It might not get the speeds that I was getting before. That's the only problem is if I hook it up, it's blocking that port a little bit so I can't plug in. The USB Type C. Other than that, we won't need the USB Type C. My Steam Deck's pretty well charged, so we'll be able to get this done the way we need to uh, get done. If you don't have one, you'll need a device like this. If you do have one on the actual hub itself, then you won't need this, but just something to think about. Also, you're going to want like a mouse and maybe a keyboard that you want to plug in as well. So we have all those items here. Of course, you're also going to want your new. Uh, micro SD card and of course you'll need your old micro SD card so I would say the first thing while your Steam Deck is off is go ahead and, and I already did it but go ahead and remove the SD card with the information on it go ahead and remove that we have all the items that we're gonna need we have the Steam Deck ready let's go ahead and switch views and I'll show you on the Steam Deck how to get this done Go ahead and get started First thing you're gonna do is fire up your Steam Deck. So all you gotta do is hit the power button right here. This is your home screen right here. And then of course, make sure that you have your, you have your micro SD card out already. You can see that I have it out. We're gonna go ahead and plug in our USB hub, which has a keyboard, a mouse, and then our SD card reader in there. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. Once we have that plugged in, 
then you, I'll be able to use my mouse. So we're gonna go ahead and zoom in here. All right, so that be, should be good enough for you guys to see everything here today. So we have our mouse working. So the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and this is an example. This is the on 256, but I do have the superior one terabyte there that I just picked up for 80 bucks, which was an extreme deal. So, uh, but I'm just doing this so I can show you how to format a card because I already formatted that other card. So we're gonna go ahead and put the USB in the slot here and push it all the way in. And automatically it's gonna register right here. So we can just click on that. And it takes you to the system and we're gonna go ahead and scroll down a little bit with our mouse to this format card. So we're gonna go ahead and hit format. So this is your brand new card. Just remember that if it was a old card with some information on it, every time you format a card, it erases everything on that card. And also once you format the card to the Steam Deck, it's only gonna work with the Steam Deck or maybe some other uh, Arch-based Linux operating system. So just remember when you format a card, make sure you have every all the information on that card backed up if you needed to. If it's a brand new card, then we just need to format it, but it will erase everything on the card, okay? Also, once again, do all this at your own skill level. I'm not an expert on Arch-based Linux at all. I'm a Windows person actually, so you're struggling through this with me step by step and we'll, we'll get it done, but I'm no expert, so do all this at your own risk. I'm, I'm just trying to show you how I did it. All right, so let's go ahead and format this card. And it's warning you here that, you know, it will erase all the data. Once again, it's going to tell you, you know, if you format the card, it's going to erase everything on the drive. And then it's going to say confirm right here. So we're just going to confirm that. And you can see it's testing and it's going to go ahead and format that card. So it's going to be testing the card and formatting. And then when that process is done, we're going to go to the next step. So I will speed this up just a little bit to uh, get everything going here. So once the card is formatted, it'll just show you that it's formatted. And now we have to go to our storage so we can take a look at it. And you can see that this is our internal drive right here. This is our micro SD card and it says it's uh, 256, but it says it has 234 free right now for us to put on it. All right, so now we wanna transfer our old information to our new card. And so there is a way to do that. And so what we have to do is we now have to go to the Steam menu and I'm gonna go ahead and just push the Steam button here. And we're gonna go to the power settings and we're gonna go to switch to desktop mode. So we're gonna head ahead and switch the desktop mode. It's gonna pop up our desktop mode here. And now here are our most recent devices here and what we're going to have to do is get our hub here. Got the hub and I'm gonna go ahead and put the our micro SD card Took out in the first place that we want to transfer information to. And we're gonna put that into our hub. So let's go ahead and do that. So I got that in there. And see it popped it up right away and we're gonna go ahead. So this is our primary new card that we just put in. This is the card that has information we wanna swap. We're gonna go ahead and open it. And notice it opened right here. So this is the free card right here. And we're gonna hit this button right here and split this. Now this is the same two cards right here. But if we go down here to open our primary, we can open the primary here. And now this is our new card. And this is our uh, other card right here. So it has three items. This has zero items. So this is the new card. This is the thing. So I just went over here and I tapped on here and it switches. So now it's see both of this is both the same card. But when I switch that now, this is the card that has items on it already. And this is the card that we want to move stuff to. And I hit this button to split the page like that. So I hit this button to split the page like that. So we split the page. You can make this a little bit bigger if you want to slide this over a little bit. 
vice versa but you see these are the same cards but if we hit this box over here now we have the three items so now all you have to do is go ahead and you can just if you wanted to copy all these folders you could we hit this top app shift and arrow and then you could drop and drag all these folders into this one and it'll copy them all okay but I am just going to copy this one you can also open them and you can you know copy all the folders in here as well but all you have to do is drop and drag in here and you will copy them okay now you could also you know side click copy and paste as well so you could copy it and then side click on here and then you could paste it into the f the folder so that is an option to drop and drag copy paste whatever you'd like to do and then it'll copy them over and so if you just drop and drag this in here it will start copying it'll stay on the bottom here that it's transferring information and you know you'll be good to go and and just to show you i can probably move this party log over here so we'll just go move you want to copy it here you want to move it here we'll just say copy here and boom you see that it did that really fast so it might take a little bit longer to move information i moved 237 gigs i think in an hour so it took an hour to to move uh this card to my one terabyte card so i'm not going to show you that but like i said it does work and it's a simple process to get done all right, so once you have that done, it's not as easy as just open it and everything's fine. You're going to actually have to reinstall the items that were on that card. So let's go, once we get that done, that's fine. We're gonna go exit that out. Once you got all your files transferred, it will take a while. So just look for down here, there'll be like a, an, a progress bar telling you, you know, that it's still transferring information. So let the process go. It'll probably, like I said, if you're doing a lot of gigs, it's gonna take a little bit of a hub that you can plug it in. Uh, like I said, I can plug this hub in. Or make sure your Steam Deck's charged. That way, you, you know, make sure you have an hour of information that you need to transfer that you're gonna be able to get that done without it dying. Or in an emergency, I could plug this in and give it power through the hub here. So make sure all those things are good to go. You can go to your card here and now we can go ahead that button again sorry now it's out so I can go ahead and remove that card and it is gone and now we have our primary drive and it's ready to go all right so for this I'm going to show you once you have those everything transferred to that new card your new cards in there no problems you you want to go play a game so then we're going to go back to we're going to go back to gaming mode double click that get that going all right so we booted back into we went back to the gaming mode this is the, na the, the native gaming mode set up here. So now that you've transferred all your information, you're going to have to reinstall the games and validate them is what they kind of call it. But it won't be like re-downloading them from the Wi-Fi. You're actually going to be re-downloading them from the memory card. So you do have to do this for all the games that you transfer over. So if you swap your whole entire library, you're probably going to have to reinstall most of that material. So let's go ahead and kind of click over here and you can see that you know this game's not installed this game's not installed all you're going to have to do is go ahead and click on them and it tells you how many gigs there are let's see if I can find a smaller game to show this real quick Oh, I guess I hit that one, never mind. Will it take a little bit to get your library back? So just wanted to put that out there that it's not just like Windows or even, you know, a Mac machine where as soon as you transfer the files over, you can open them and you're good to go. On the Steam Deck, you're going to have to, sometimes it says validate or reinstall or that type of verbiage, but it's going to tell you you're gonna to have to reinstall it, but you're not installing it from the internet. Just to make that clear, you are installing it from your new SD card but you're going to have to update all that kind of stuff, so. All right, just wanted to show you really quick that when you go back to your system and you go ahead and install the game, it's not gonna be pulling the game off the internet or off your Wi-Fi or adding more to your memory card. It's actually gonna be pulling it from the micro SD card. So you can see that it says it's validating. 
uh, it'll say install you just hit install and then it'll go to this where it's actually validating it off your memory source so like I said it's not adding more it's not doing anything like that it's just validating that all that information is on the card and it's going to reinstall it to your system and you'll be good to go you can see that I've done 43 gigs and it's probably taken about seven minutes to do that once that process is done you'll be able to play the game and it'll say it's installed it'll say play and you can just hit it and you can start playing so it does take a little bit after you go ahead and transfer card to card like I said you'll either have to install it'll say install and then it'll go to this validating basically like I said it's just pulling that off the card and making sure your, all your information is good to go it won't be adding more or anything like that pulling off the internet or anything it'll just be validating that information is there and then once it's reinstalled or revalidated -val it will be good to go and it'll say play once it validates it will just say it is all updating it'll do updates finalizing all that good stuff you can see it's actually doing updates once it's all good to go and those files are all complete it will allow you to go ahead and play the game so you can see it's all done we're gonna go back and you can see yep it's all ready to play and you're good to go and you've transferred your files from micro sd card to micro sd card and you're ready to play all right, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much, DJ Martini Midwest Reviews and Tutorials. Please like, subscribe if this was helpful at all. Thank you.